Hello everybody, I'm Mark and today I have prepared for you 5 more useful tips and tricks for Affinity Software. This is part 2, so don't forget to check the part 1 and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you like to learn more about Affinity programs. Alright, let's get started. My first tip for today will be to use split mode, split view. It's really interesting and time-saving mode. So by default you need to head to view menu at the very top and then you will see view mode. By default it's set as vector because this is vector editing software I'm using Affinity Designer right now. But you can move it into uh, from single view to split view. This way I can see both vector view and at this time I got loaded pixel view. If I zoom in really close you will see the difference perfectly sharp vectors on the left and pixels appearing on the right. I can move this line whatever I want and more than that I can load a different view on this side. Now it's pixel view. What if I simply load a outline view so I can click outline view now and it's we only load it on this side of the split view. I can I still got vector view on this side, I can change that to pixel view, I can change this to retina pixel view or outline, that's not the point. We should have two separate views here because we are splitting the screen, so I can go for a vector view here and you don't need to switch this on and off all the time. Sometimes you just you can just drag this to the right like this. It's on the side, you can keep working on the stuff in this vector view and then you can simply drag it like this and now we've got outline view that sometimes is super useful and you've got many objects on the screen. So you can use this split mode instead of single mode to boost your productivity. So that was our advice number one for today. Let's move to the next artboard. What's here? Shift X. You probably already know what X will do. You got two colors, right? One color is for your outline. So if I select this object, this color will be for my outline. Let's make this stroke a little bit bigger like this. Okay, so I got this color for outline and then there's the color inside, fill color. And sometimes we want to swap them. So I can, if I press X, I can jump between them, yes, but I need to press Shift and X to swap them. All right, how I use this one? I use this one to correct my mistake. Sometimes I apply stroke color instead of fill color or fill color instead of stroke and then I will need to move my mouse all over here and click the arrow here. Or you can speed up and just press Shift X and keep doing what you were doing. So that's really cool. Shortcut to remember, Shift X will swap stroke color with fill color. Our tip number three is related to one of my recent tutorials when somebody was trying to do this fading away text and discovered that it's not safe as vector. Yes, that's right. If you're using some opacity things like mask and all that stuff, you are risking that your final design will be a pixel based image, not a vector one. So how to avoid that? Let's create a fake masking by using gradient. So in this case, actually this whole text is just a solid. No transparency opacity here. What we did was to apply gradient and then you must be sure that one of color from your gradient is exactly the same as the color of your backdrop. Now it's white, so that's not really impressive. So let's change that. Here's my new rectangle, it's blue. And how can we make this fake masking effect on this text? Apply gradient. And then in the gradient options, one side is your color you want to use. Let's use maybe this violet pinkish color as the main one. And then the other color, don't touch opacity, just pick the color and use the color picker tool to pick the color from the backdrop. And this way 
you can create this fake transparency feel on your design that's don't need to be a text can be object shape and whatever you want group instead of using masks and messing with opacity use gradient this way you will maintain your project as a vector file all right and what's next this tip is really quick simply press tab to hide your interface for a moment just like this that's it and some people got trouble because they pressed tab by mistake and then they <laughs> they freak out because all of my tools disappear what should i do press tab to hide or unhide your interface for a moment really handy when you are taking some screenshots in the middle of your project documenting your design sending to colleagues or customers or just showing to your family they don't need to see all of the tools around simply press tab to disable the interface for a moment so we can focus on the artboard itself all right and the last tip for today is about customization of the interface it's possible to adjust the color of your interface you simply need to click preferences over here at the very top and you should be able to see all settings on the grid and what you want to do is to click user interface from here you can move sliders left and right to adjust both the neutral color behind and also the UI color you see it's gonna be really dark or it's gonna be just a soft gray thing you can of course flip the whole UI into the light mode back actually old 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 version of Unity designers have come with the like light UI by default nowadays most programs are set up in dark so also our Affinity designer is set up by default in the dark you can also select default OS this will follow your settings in your operating system and there are also a few little things you can adjust here as well so don't forget to play with it some people love to see monochromatic icons without colors like this so you can do it from here as well so don't forget to check up your user interface settings maybe you can make this a better experience for yourself maybe adjust the color to match your previous software the software you used previously so it's similar maybe it was light mode like this so you can keep using that you don't need to use dark mode if you don't like it everything can be adjusted from here all right so today we got five tips about modifying color of the interface about using tab to hide stuff temporary we can use gradient to fake transparency we can press shift plus x to flip between fill and stroke color and we can also use split view not only single view we can use split view so we can quickly see our secondary view without changing options all right be sure you check the part one video as well and i will see you in the next tutorial bye